consider today a victory for civil rights in this country, for women's rights, for the rights of men and women journalists. For a jury to say Ms. Kraft was treated shabbily is much easier than for a court to define the obligations of television management. The questions arising out of her case are legion. For the industry, what's the purpose of the news anchor anyway? Primarily to enhance ratings? Saying yes might help the industry in court, but at a price to the self-esteem of the industry, not to mention of the TV anchor. Surely television stations will always be allowed to consider an employee's appearance before putting that employee on the air. But what are the limits? May a federally regulated industry become a vehicle of discrimination merely because it's reflecting discrimination in the community or it's good for business? The courts rejected that idea when advanced by the airlines to prevent men from becoming flight attendants. What if the demoted anchor were over 40, protected by federal age discrimination law? What if he or she were black in a community where blacks are not treated well? The real value in Ms. Kraft's case, and others sure to follow, is that it now forces appeals courts to provide at least some of the answers. Tim O'Brien, ABC News, Washington.